Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Um, we got a good one for you today. Lewis Crocker and Jose Felix. Uh, Lewis Crocker is a fun guy. He's a fun fighter. And uh, this is going to be a fun fight. Uh, it's not a lot to, to, to make on this, but I'm going to... Let's get into it anyway, because it's, it's a fun fight to look at. Uh, follow me all forms. But before we do, please follow me all forms of social media. Quick hits. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you every single uh, big fight. Showing you how to make money, how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't bet on boxing. I don't bet at all. Uh, but if you do, uh, we use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the boxing book makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. There's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Let's bring down the house together. Also, please subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Lewis Crocker is a, 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 a he's a fun fighter. No matter what, he's an interesting fighter. Lewis Crocker is all offense, all the time, come forward, in your face, aggressive. He starts fast. From a, a fan's perspective, he's, he's a Northern Ireland guy. He's 10 out of 10. And I'm going to say he's more fun than good. He's a welterweight. He's 5'9". He's kind of average build, average size. He's front foot heavy. He's got a really wide base, and he's really wide open. He's extremely easy to hit. He's going to get hit a lot. Throws with good volume. Stays busy. But what you'll notice is if you throw, he'll show up. He'll, he'll show up. He, he, he likes being the aggressor, and he likes opening up. But if you can open up, he'll show up. And he can give away rounds that way. He'll sit there. He'll let you. He'll go. What Paul and Malinaji goes, I go, you go. I go, you go. He doesn't really punch in between punches. He doesn't have you know good timing or anything like that. But he is a fun offensive fighter. What he is, what, what, what I, I think there's more skill to him and athleticism and, and dexterity to him than, than you think, right? Like, you think he's one thing, like he's just going to come forward. He's got a little head movement he, he, when he wants to. He's got a little athleticism to him, to his game. He does. Uh, he doesn't use it much because he's usually just head first <laughs> it coming in. But when he sits back in in the mid-range, he can sit there and he can make you miss a little bit. It, it's, it's interesting. And I, I don't think it's a part of his game that gets a lot of notice because he does a lot of things poorly when he's getting aggressive. Like he squares up and he's easy to counter. He squares up way too much. He's square in front of you. He's too big of a target. He's going to keep getting hit a lot. He telegraphs his punches. You know exactly what he's going to throw. He winds up on his shots. He loads up on everything. I don't think he's that. I'm not saying his power is is, is whack or anything. I'm not saying he's feather fist. I don't think his power is tremendous. If you, even if you just look at his knockout percentage, 10 knockouts, 18 fights at this side of his career, at this stage of his career, it's not great. Like I'm not saying he's got no power that he's feather fist, but I, I don't think he's a one-hitter quitter type guy. He's a good body puncher too. Uh, he's an aggressive offensive fighter. At this level, he's going to blow people out. He's going to beat people. He, he is. His aggression, like I said, he's reasonably athletic, reasonably decent pop. You know, he looked good against Tyrone McKenna, but McKenna's a good guy to look good against. You know, he, he, he dominated uh, uh, Joel Julio back in 2023. So 2023 was, was a good year for him. He picked up some good wins. He made a name for himself. I'm not saying he's a bad fighter. But I'm saying this is going to be an interesting fight with Jose Felix. Jose Felix is, to me, the epitome of an opponent. He's 46 and 1. He's from Mexico. He doesn't really fight with the Mexican style. He's a little bit on his back foot. He doesn't throw in high volume. He's not a pressure guy. He he lost to McKenna. He got knocked down in the first. He but he also uh, put McKenna down with a body shot. Later in the fight, in the middle rounds, it was an okay showing. He's got steamrolled by Isak Cruz. He got uh, outclassed by Sandor Martin in 2022. Then he fights once in 2023, and he's fighting Gary Cully, Gary Cully in in Dublin, Ireland. And we're supposed to be hyper impressed with Gary Cully. 
and Cully gets washed. His corner throws in the towel, and he throws a fit about the stoppage when he was getting pummeled. It's like, you know, he was technically throwing shots back, but he was getting wrecked. Uh, so it was shout out for taking those shots, but shout out a lot of shout out to the corner for, for stopping that fight. He doesn't use a jab a lot, Jose Felix. He doesn't, he's not, he fights your fight. If, if you want to come forward, he'll go backwards. If you want to go backwards, he'll come forward. He looks a little uncomfortable at times coming forward uh, against the boxer. It's not really his game. He throws good feints. But he just doesn't do much. Like he can survive, and I, I would bet this the over, you know, because I he, Cully, I'm uh, not Cully, uh, Crocker isn't a a pit bull for lack of a better word. Like Isaac Cruz, he's not coming to, you know, break you down and break your ribs. Well, he is a good combo with fighter. You know, he's not at the level of Isaac Cruz, so I, I don't think he'd get stopped. I think he would go the distance, but it, it just seems like he's not. Like, there's no blueprint for him to win. Like, his, he comes now. Jose Felix comes to survive. He fought for an interim world title in, in 2014. Like, this is a, a guy with skills who can do things. But he no longer has an identity. Like, what's he looking to do out there? You can see the little bit of athleticism. You can see some of his, his craftiness on, on the outside. You know, the way he jabs, the way he faints. He, he, but it's just not enough. It, it doesn't even seem like to me that he's – ultimately looking to win fights anymore. You know, I'm not in his camp. I'm not in his corner. I don't know. But it looks like he's there to survive rounds and get a decent paycheck, which is what he'll do. You know, he gets a little wild at times, but he's not a bad boxer. He's a pretty good boxer, which is what took him to a, a world title shot, at least for an interim title, back, you know, a decade ago. He's a smart fighter. Like, that's obvious. He's a good craftsman. He just, I, I don't think he's looking to win, and ultimately he ain't going to win. Uh, so let's take a look at the odds on this fight, and let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Not a lot to look at. It's just a money line, and it's wide, and it's for Crocker, who is minus 700. And we're going to make a two-times bet on Lewis Crocker, and that bet is going to make us 28.57. So, look, it's not... You can do this. You can do that. And it looks pretty. He ain't going to win. I don't even think he's fighting to win. I understand he got the Cully win. I understand. And he's going to come to fight. I guess. He's not beating Lewis Crocker. So you can do one times. You can do two times. 28.57. It's what you're making. There's not a ton of money, man. This like you're basically a 7-1 favorite. There's no way to handicap this with going over. I would definitely take the over. If you can find the odds on the over, take the over. But DraftKings don't have it. If you Another book, take the over. I, I think Crocker dominates him. I think Crocker wins pretty much every round. I think he, he might hurt him. He might drop him. But I, I do think ultimately Jose Felix is professional enough and is skilled enough and crafty enough that he can go the distance. So that's my bet. Uh, Lewis Crocker on the money line, minus 700. Times two makes you $28 and change. $28.57. Again, it, it's not about cleaning up on every single bet. Like, we're going to make these bets, and, and we're going to win. We're going we're gonna to make money on these bets, okay? We're, we're, we're fitting to make money on this, and we're going to make money on, on other small bets. Um, and we just keep, and you just bank wrong. We just bank wrong, bank wrong, bank wrong. Uh, this is a good bet. He's going to win this fight. If you can find the over, take the over. DraftKings don't have it. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie and all forms of social uh, media. Please join my Patreon. Uh, my Patreon is just $5 a month. You get all types of perks, like a free T-shirt. You'll get the lock of the week. Um, you'll get uh, a, a free scouting report. Any fight you want me to scout, you'll also get uh, – you can request I break down a fight and I handicap a fight that I haven't done yet on my channel. I will do that just for you. Uh, you get all that and more. If you join Patreon for just $5 a month, that's 3D Boxing Blog at Patreon. The link is in the description. It is January 22nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.